What is damping factor? Okay, uh, we get asked this a lot, and I think I've talked about it before, but we'll get into the weeds here uh, a little bit. Um, this comes from David in Prosper, the United Kingdom. Sounds like a prosperous place in England. Uh, what is damping factor and why does it matter? I've heard people say damping above 1,000 to 2,000 results in better base control. Is that true? Well, let's, let's talk about first what, what is damping factor, why do we care, and then we'll go through some of the numbers for you. Damping factor is basically a numerical way of describing the output impedance of a power amplifier. And why do we care about the output impedance of a power amplifier? Well, we care because really what damping factor is telling us is how much control the amplifier has over the speaker. Because we don't want the speaker to control the amp, right? The amp is the, it's the conductor here. The amp is saying, you do this and the speaker should respond perfectly. Now, speakers have kickback, they are inductive, meaning they have coils of wire, energy storage capabilities that can push their energy back to the amplifier. And an amplifier that has high output impedance is going to change the way it sounds in response to the speaker it's connected to. So what you want is a high damping factor, and the higher the damping factor, the more it says that the amplifier can reign supreme over the speaker and not be pushed around by that stupid speaker. Okay, so how do we, um, how do we determine output impedance? So as in our power plants or in any kind of power amplifier, now a power plant AC regenerator is just a big amplifier, right? And their output impedance is critical as well because we, we want to have as low as we can. So our output impedance on a AC regenerator is really low, like 0 0.00000001, okay, really low. Now to get that, you need a lot of loop feedback. And we don't want so much loop feedback in a good sounding power amplifier. So there's always gonna be a balance there. So in an audio amplifier, we want a reasonable balance. Too much in one direction, it's not gonna sound great. So let's uh, talk about calculating it. Let's say that we have, uh, well, uh, the formula is pretty easy. You take the impedance of the load uh, and you divide it into uh, the, uh, or, which way, I always get turned around. Numbers are, are, are difficult for me. You know, <laughs> when I start doing one of these, I do 20 videos a day, uh, well, on, on a weekend, right? And I'm thinking, okay, here goes number 15. And that means I only have five left. Ah, wouldn't you think? 15, five more, 20. If I'm doing 20, right? No, you got six more. Because really, you only finished what? Anyway, <laughs> that's just Paul's mucked up brain. But basically, we're going to divide the output impedance into the speaker impedance. So for instance, if we had a speaker with an impedance of 8 ohms and the output impedance of our power amplifier was 1 ohm, which is really high, then we would say, you know, 8 divided by 1 is 8, right? So let's take 0.1. If all of a sudden it's 10 times lower output impedance on the amplifier, now when we divide it, um, we're going to have, what would that be, 8? That would be 80. Uh, and if it's 0 0.01, it's going to be 800, and, and so on. So you can see that as the, it's just a simple thing of, of arithmetic. So as the impedance goes lower and we divide it into the, in, the fixed impedance of the speaker, then the damping factor number goes up. So I, I would say what you want for output impedance of an amplifier is a minimum of 0 0.01 or one hundredth of an ohm. I w you know, a tenth of an ohm, 0 0.1, not so great. 0 0.01, that's about the minimum output impedance that you want, or the maximum output impedance. Sorry, uh, you can go lower. Now, if you have 0 0.00001 like we do in that, 
you have sacrificed something in the design of that amplifier that you're not going to like the way it sounds. So I wouldn't want anything that has too high of a damping factor because then you're probably going to have problems, sonic problems, elsewhere. So anyway, that's damping factor. That's how you calculate it. And it's actually pretty simple. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you.